All right, in this video, I'm going to go over mixing push dose epis. So we've replaced dopamine um, for our uh, shock patients with push dose epi. And this way, we're giving more of an IV push instead of having to set up a drip rate. So in our protocol, uh, we are instructed to use our 1 to 1,000 or our 1 milligram per 1 ml epinephrine. And we're going to mix it in 100 mLs um, to yield the concentration that we want to give 10 micrograms per ml to our patient. So just to show you the math behind that, my epinephrine that I'm going to use comes as one milligram per ml. I want to yield 10 micrograms per ml. So I'm going to put one milligram in 100 mls. If we change that to micrograms, because my desired dose is in micrograms, it uh, one milligram equals 1,000 micrograms. In 100 mls and if I just reduce that I do get that concentration of 10 microgram per ml and this is a really good way to raise our patient's blood pressure when they're in cardiogenic neurogenic uh, shock um, and we can push 1 ml which is 10 micrograms every two to five minutes and to keep that blood pressure above 90 systolic or to keep that map above 65 So things you'll need is your 100 ml bag of either saline or D5. I have my epinephrine, which is 1 to 1,000 or 1 milligram per 1 ml. And then I'll need a syringe to draw up the medication and mix it in the bag. So this is just a blunt tip fill needle that I can use to drop the medication and then put it in the bag. Since this is a single dose vial, I can just draw up the one ml, the whole vial. Just make sure if you're using a multi-dose vial that you're just drawing up the one ml. Right, so as you can see, I've drawn up my one ml of medication. I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the medication port on my IV bag. From here, you just want to give it a little bit of a turn. We don't wanna shake it to cause any bubbles, but we're just mixing that one milligram into that 100 mLs. And then what I prefer to do is I'll actually draw up a whole syringe of medication so I'll drop the full 10 mLs, and let me turn this upside down here. And that way I have 10 doses ready to give, because I have 10 mLs uh, to my patient. I don't have to keep putting it in the bag and drawing out more, but I would just give this one mL at a time, and that's gonna yield the dose of 10 micrograms uh, to my patient who needs that vasopressor to increase their blood pressure. So again, we would just give one ml at a time. You can use a smaller syringe and just draw it up one ml at a time, but I would just prefer to draw a multi-dose multi syringe so I don't have to keep drawing out of the bag.